everyone, this is uh, James. Uh, this quick video, I'm just going to show you how to uh, patch some lights on the QD app and how to a uh, quick overview on how to start programming queues and stuff. Um, let's go to options, select my eTouch 2, go to patch. Um, you know, if you had like, if you knew you had four pars, you could just select, click and drag, or press and drag. This works the same exact way on the computer as it does on the app on the iPad. Personality, um, let's see, let's say we're using some, some rush pars, seven channel. There you go. They'd occupy those four and they would patch them accordingly right here. So you'll see the address and stuff right here. Um, so let's just kind of clear them like that. Tap there. Um, change the address. You can mess around with the diff switches yourself. Or just uh, click the numbers around and stuff. Uh, so it's patching. Uh, Uh, I have one profile or something. And finally, toss them like an American DJ 5P hex. Uh, seven channels. So, two kinds of washes and moving ahead and stuff like that. So, uh, just click patch again. And this is your uh, Q window. So you have your, your 64 cues. Um, you have to like uh, triple tap to switch this bar around and stuff. I don't have a touch screen now, so I can't do it. Um, but uh, to start programming cues, you just go to edit and then click empty queue. And automatically the fixture, you know, one of the fixtures is selected. You get access to the channel faders below. You know, and it goes by the last one selected. So obviously it combines them a little bit. So uh, let's just uh, let's do something with the, with the rush. I'll make it uh, a little pink. Um, let's move the moon head around. Um, let's see. I think that's. focus you know you'll have to see this live on the fixture itself um, but you just kind of move stuff around and um, yeah. dimmer and so with these selected I click add I click on the queue and I click record it records these three fixtures into that kit. Um, I can deselect it. Um, I can take this and add another queue, and it keeps the programming that I have going on. It keeps it there, and I can just kind of go through my fixtures and change up the. Channels. So I'll move this one here. I'll have the prism this time. Just to focus. Whatever. And oh, add some light to it. So select these three. This is selected. Hit record, and now it's recorded. So. Um, I can clear the programmer.
So you can change the condition to follow or halt. Obviously, halt will be it'll stop for um, it'll, it'll fade in zero seconds and hold for this many seconds. So the delay time, I'll uh, say five. Five second hold time, a time, you know, like two seconds. Uh, since I had both selected when I did that, it applied to both of them. So, and this could be halt. And so, uh, so if you want this to go straight into that one, but the ones you want it to loop. Um, you can make the last one follow. Uh, I'm just going to go back and see it. It's going to hold. And then it should jump back to number one. Yeah, so. Let it go to number two. It's going to fade and hold. And then it jumps back to number one. Yep, right there. So if you want to tweak this, go to edit. Uh, tap on the queue. Um, so this, that's what this is. Uh, this is a tracking. You hold it down, and it goes red. And that's off, basically. It's not on. So and this is the the dimmer intensity level for all these cues right here, as well as the speed of any effects that was generated. So. Edit, do another one, add a queue, select it. Um, say you wanted this queue to be a circle or something like that. Go figure eight, just click OK. And delay. One second with fade of one second. And so this would be so the chord into that, and now you can have you can play both of these together. So the Profile should be doing the movement while this is doing its um, whatever was programmed in Q number one. So you can, um, you know, release that one, release that one. Uh, property of click on that one is either background or exclusive. Go toggle flash solo, repeat you know stuff like that so if you hit uh, properties and you click on a queue you'd be able to assign it to the background or make it exclusive or you know, go mode or repeat modes stuff like that so that's another cool thing um, you can swap swap queues a little bit so I just took um, queue number two and place it in number one and vice versa. So I swapped uh, that to that one, put it back where it was. Play it. So this is all these uh, cool things that you can do. Um, obviously, this is active, so if I bring the dimmer down, I can flash the intensity up and stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a fun little program. Uh, just uh, start programming some stuff and playing around with it and see how it gets you. Um, if you have any questions, email me at jameskay at jameskayatelationlighting.com or support at elationlighting.com. Thanks, bye.